we have a little idea here uh, to save a few dollars for the new mechanics especially and to get something a little bit better for their toolbox hopefully. This is the style of socket rails that we used to have many many for many many years and uh, they worked very very well but the only problem with them was that I felt that they wouldn't stand up. If your toolbox is absolutely full of sockets then they'll probably stand up but uh, as um, many people they don't have an absolute jam-packed full of, of uh, sockets in their in their toolbox so these ones here they've been around for as long as I can remember I've been a mechanic for well over 50 years now and they've been around and, and have served their purpose I always like the style that have the magnets on the bottom but uh, recently I've had nothing but time in my hands so I started looking into who's got in them and uh, I have a couple here that uh, that have the magnets on the bottom this happens to be a uh, is a, a gray tools it's uh, part number 25617 I tried to look on the internet there to see if these are still available uh, they're very very well made a good durable plastic but uh, I have not been able to find them on uh, on the internet uh, under tools of any kind under the gray name their site and uh, so I've just uh, given up on them and the ones that are out there that are have do have the magnets they're anywhere from um, 28 30 dollars each to up to 50 dollars each for a full rail like this one here this is a good rail here but it's not magnetic it's it's again it's good plastic it does a purpose but now one thing about it, it doesn't fall over that's nice too but every time you pull a socket out the rail wants to come up with it so it's a bit of an inconvenience works good reasonable price these are around uh, if I remember right there I don't remember exactly what they were about 20 bucks 25 bucks each or so or something like that yeah low 20s anyways but again no magnets so uh, they're they're good these ones I this one here is a pin type and these are very very good if you're a very light-handed person but being a bit of a grubby handed person I break these pins off quite a few times and I've bought many of these over the years they're they're not uh, overly cheap uh, it's like everything else today they've gone up in price but they do work they do work so again it's what your preferences are but going back to the magnets I have found that um, I buy these rails on the jungle store and there you can get six for uh, what are they six for six for eighteen dollars so you get two quarter inch uh, with quarter inch snaps two rails with three eighths snaps and uh, two rails with half inch drive snaps on it so that is a very very inexpensive buy and they look to be made out of fairly good metal or not metal uh, plastic nothing is made out of metal today uh, made out of plastic the only thing is the way they come there's no there's no magnets on them but with a little bit of ingenuity you can put magnets on them like so now the magnets for these things here I can buy a packet of magnets put two on each there we go that's how good they are I can put two on each rail let me just grab a rail here there's a rail and these are like these are good magnets come on off there I'm going to put you far away over there stuck to a can now so put two magnets here and here if you wish wherever you wish you can put them together doesn't matter it doesn't really matter I put mine out near the edge as illustrated here and uh, first I, uh, they came the magnets came and you get a packet of 12 magnets so the 12 magnets will cover all six of those of those six of those rails that you uh, that you buy so that's a, that's a good purchase there these are the magnets I think were uh, 19 uh, 21 dollars for a package of 12 and they're very very strong very very strong magnets um, now I put them on first. I put them on with the with the. They, they send you some uh, two-way tape here. 
what you want to do with this two-way tape is throw it in the garbage. It's no good for nothing. I put them on with two-way tape and I happen to put an empty one of these here on the side of my toolbox and the next day it was sitting on the floor. So it says on here uh, for a magnet. Well, I don't know what kind of magnet so anyways throw that in the garbage right away. Don't even, don't even play with that. What I tried next was uh, RTV um, black RTV uh, I don't know what brand we have here but it it didn't hold either for some reason it just didn't hold I don't know whether the RTV is old or or the temperature was wrong which is room temperature but anyway so we took them apart and next we tried this uh, um, weather stripping we happen to call it uh, elephant snot but it's not it's really good glue. Uh, it's made for weather stripping. Uh, super weather strip adhesive. Like so. We clean the plastic up because as you know with anything that has plastic on it, it's made out of petroleum product. It has a little bit of residue of uh, off gassing and that sort of thing. So all we did was we uh, took some brake clean. Good old fashioned uh, brake clean. You could probably get anything like that. Give them a little wipe in there. Let's let that cool or settle down for a minute there. Give it a little blow in there. And like I said, you can put them on wherever you wish in, in the rail. Like I say, we'll just put some of this glue in there. And I'm not cheap with it because when that thing is in the toolbox, if it does if it if the cup does run it over a bit, so be it. See that gooey, gooey, gooey? Nice and gooey. Nobody will see it when a little bit of glue that runs over. It doesn't hurt. In this case, more is better. Slap that down in there. Give a little push down. Yep, that's good stuff. And I'll wipe that over here. We won't see that. So that, that's what's happened there is we glued that in there and it works very, very well. Let that set for a couple days, leave it alone, and again, put the other one on there. Now, for the rails, for the clips rather, for these rails, what we did was, because most of mine are, most of my tools are 3 8 drive. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't use the half inch drive very much. I have a lot of half inch, but uh, each uh, rail comes with uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, about 15 clips and because again like I said mine are mostly all 3 8 drive uh, tools I ran out of these clips immediately so what I did was I bought online from the jungle store again this is a pot bag of uh, 24 clips and they cost uh, I think it was about uh, around $19 so a buck, buck each we'll see now they did need a little wee bit of trimming right here and right here. I ground them back a little wee bit, take maybe a an eighth of an inch off each side, and the inside here there was a little tiny, little tiny ridge in there. I just took the hacksaw and gave it a little touch on both sides. And let me tell you, when you put these things on, I don't want to disturb this one here. Let me just put it on there. But when you put these things on and you clip these right so that they lock in there properly they are there to stay if you could hear that clip and they do not want to they, they want to move but just 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 enough whereas the original ones that come with the rails they're a little bit on the loose side which is okay but these ones here now and they're well locked in there I don't know if we can show that or not but they are very very well locked in there and uh, goes right into the root of the right into the root of the rail there this portion here so they're they're very well made so it's it's well worthwhile so now the thing has cost me I'm not sure what it's gonna cost me 10 bucks each maybe total with the two magnets the rail and the few extra clips so each 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 uh, rail is 10 bucks well when you start looking at the other ones that are anywhere from 25 to uh, 50 dollars you're saving a couple bucks 
and you multiply that over how many rails you're going to need. I think I have in my toolbox, I must have at least, at least 20 rails. So you're saving a few bucks. A little bit of sweat equity, by putting your own magnets on. There you go. So hopefully that helps. I thank you very much for the watch and uh, hopefully that helps some more. Thank you.